is going to be moving on to streaming other bigger things in the future, near future. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. All right. We also have a YouTube with some instant upload videos. And hit that sub button if you're feeling generous. But let's jump right into it. Dill versus Ray. And we're on FD right here. Uh, Dill is going Sheik, as you mentioned. Uh, like, doesn't like the Diddy Rosa matchup, so he's going to go Sheik here. Uh, Sheik can apply a lot of pressure to Luma. As we see right there, Luma already dead. Uh, that really takes away Ray's combo game. Rosa, with no Luma at low percents, has almost no combos. And this is a revenge match for Dill. Like, you, Ray sent Dill into losers. Right. And that's actually when he went Sheik against him. Right. So this is just that we're probably going to see a lot of Final Destination like we did last time. And it went to game three, and it was pretty much anyone's game. But I, think, I think that FD is probably uh, most neutral stage in this matchup. Uh, the rest of them can be very volatile. I think it's not necessarily the best stage for either of these characters, but both of them are so good on Town and City and really, really scary on a lot of on the tri-platform stages. He had the roll read, but acted a little late on that grab. Uh, so Dill with a pretty sizable lead right now. And Dill was a little bit late on that up smash punish. Yeah, he, he read the rollback and just didn't get there in time. That was amazing spacing coming from Ray, actually getting out of range from the down tilt from Dill in order to not, not get set up for a combo. Because that down tilt could lead to something frame. big, just like that. He reads the air dodge with a forward air. Now he has Needle Storm on deck. He could possibly look for a Needle Storm into Bouncing Fish conversion off stage if he managed to push him off there. Now we're starting to see Ray get stage control, and this is where it can get dangerous. Dill got back enough, quickly enough, that uh, Ray couldn't set up the Luma ledge trap with the jab. But still, you do not want to be off stage, or on the ledge especially, against Rosalina. Even with Sheik's wonderful, you know, recovery options. Very little gets past Luma Jab. Not, I guess that was a read on the needle. Yeah, no, yeah, he's definitely using gravitational pull to just try to get rid of needles. Since needles attacks on so much damage, he puts so much hits on him. Reads the double air dodge, hits with the forward air, but it's not enough to get the kill. Dylan is looking, fishing for this kill. Possibly wanting to use bouncing fish or an up smash. And right here, we see we see the inherent issue with Sheik. We talk about it basically every time there's a Sheik on stream. Sheik can't really kill. We see Rosa at 158 right now, and Rosa is such a light character. There's a sweet spot percent that, you, that your opponent needs to be at for you to like get into those confirmed you know kills. Exactly, and when you, you have a lot of 50/50s off yeah. of throws, and a lot of uh, occasionally kill confirms off of down tilt. Oh, good beefy up B. That would, that was amazing coming from Dill, going super high up to just catch Ray, as you said, the beefy up B. Uh, just catching Ray Ooh. completely off guard, but now he's got to be super careful. Seeing a 94% against a max rage Rosalina. Anything, the slice thing could kill him, but he actually tilt. kills him Finally with a kills. forward tilt. Wow. Uh, got him. We, we actually saw... Uh, we see a lot of, uh, of pressure here. We saw that Luma up smash almost kill at like 83. Uh, this, you know, this has been, been difficult. Uh, Dill was really controlling it early on, and now we basically have a tie game. Ray's starting to adapt for, to the very aggressive Dill, because the thing is when Dill plays Sheik, a lot of the times he plays a lot, very defensive, but he's being super aggro against Ray, I'm noticing. Well, I think Rosa really wins the defensive game. You know, even oh. with Needles, she's she's got that gravitational pull to deal with Needles, and they'll also just hit Luma rather than Rosa a lot of the time. So you, you really have to be aggressive and force the issue. Try to get rid of Luma as quickly as possible. See more up throw up air conversions right here. And that's going to that take it against the Luma hit. Killed. Wow, wow, Ray just taking it away from Dill. Dude, Dill was playing so well that first stock. But then Ray just stole all forms of momentum that he had and just continued to apply more and more damage until he got him above him and kept throwing out up airs until he took game one. Yeah, and that was you know that was really the reason that Sheik can struggle in a lot of matchups. He could not get that first stock off. And even though he got the first kill, he had a massive lead. He had Ray at kill percent when he was only around like 40% or so. But he, he couldn't get the kill until he was at almost 100. Uh, so then Ray was able to come back and get that stock very quickly. And that you know set up a very even final stock where Ray just took a little bit of control and got the early kill with the Luma. Now I'm sensing them going to Battlefield as he switches the Mewtwo. Mewtwo. All right. Uh, this is interesting this matchup. Platform kills. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, as we said, Dill does have a Mewtwo. He's tried Sheik against Ray in Winterside, didn't work out. Tried Sheik against him in game one, it didn't work out. So it's like, I think this is just kind of like a, let's see what happens for yeah. Dill. I mean, why not? Uh, you know, he's, he's, he was playing fairly well in the Sheik matchup, but really struggled to get the kill and couldn't quite get any of his conversions against such a light character. So now Mewtwo, a character who kills very early off of a lot of stray hits, uh, but at the same time he does lose his uh, his zoning capabilities with that Shadow Ball because, as you see here at close range, he's just going to power shield, but at further range he can just downbeat. Good Nair confirm right there, and that, that is going to be important in this matchup because Nair, as long as it's also hitting Luma, uh, Luma will not be able to break out break Ray out of that combos those combos. Now, I know that Dill wanted to apply a lot of pressure against Ray by dashing towards him there, but that could have been a free moment to get rid of Luma. Absolutely. But I guess he just got rid of him. 
<laughs> right there. Yeah, it goes for up throw very early. That's surprising. Uh, I think you'd want to save that, not stale it, because now it's probably getting a lot closer to kill percent, if not if not already there. Could that have possibly been Dill just getting antsy? Because I'm not used to seeing Dill go for, It like, is possible, yeah. Or just seeing Mewtwo up throw, not kill. Like, that, that was very weird. You know, it's also, it's also possible you uh, temporarily forgot he was on Battlefield, because yeah. that they would have killed that percent on Town and City, probably. Dill um, landing with these forward airs, continues to swing at this Luma. Yeah, the forward air string right there will take out Luma. Uh, that forward air, very useful against Luma. Uh, you can, ooh, that up air takes it. Calls out the uh, roll or just dropping shield, I guess. And there we she go. just ate that uh, the shadow ball. It was like, gravitational pull just deleted it from existence. Looks like he was trying to read a spot dodge right there. I got a roll instead. Uh, so Ray not able to get the kill yet. Maybe trying to get a fair up smash there, but he didn't land with the forward air. Good spacing there, though. He, uh, he walks away, just gets out of that get up attack range, and as soon as he sees it, he runs up and up smashes to take the first stock. So just a 47% deficit now. And as we see, Rosa knows how to kill early. So certainly, pretty even game here. Ray just shoots him with a point, uh, sorry, that was Dylan shot him with a point blank shadow ball, hitting at a very approaching Ray. Gets the trip from the down tilt, gets the grab, but I mean, he's at such a low percent, he tried to go for a pummel, not probably the yeah. most optimal solution. Dill's been mashing out very well. We saw him match out of a grab around the same percent last time. Uh, you really can't go for those pummels at super low percents if someone's on top of their game like that. This Luma's going all over the place. I don't even know where he's going to land next. Okay. High recovery. He, well, he hits mean, the Luma. That's that's pretty good off that. Better than nothing. Yeah, that was, like, precise. And now we're going to see Ray probably try to sit back. We saw him just not move for the first couple seconds without Luma. And it really benefits Rosa to just wait until Luma comes back, not let anything happen. Good air dodge come from Ray, expecting the second swing from the up air. But this is exactly what we saw game two. Ooh. Tossing with that, that is one of the scariest situations you could be in. Is on the top platform of Battlefield against the up air swinging Rosalina. Oh yeah. Okay, Dill's looking to finish this sock off. Basically sacrifices Luma to make sure he gets back right there, but the S up throw should kill. Dill takes game two with the Mewtwo, the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, the Mewtwo looked pretty good right there. He was playing the neutral well and getting all of his punishes. Uh, and I, I like that he didn't try to overextend and instead often just went to kill Luma. And that's something we saw, um, even though uh, Utopian Ray ended up losing, was something we saw Wraith really struggle with sometimes. And it's something we've seen in a lot, even in the Sheik matchup. He was having trouble killing Luma at times. It's interesting that you say that because there's so many times that I saw Dill just flat out ignore Luma. Like, especially that one time when, like, he had. I saw it multiple times where Luma was on the opposite side of the stage, and then Dill ran towards Ray instead and opted to just ignore him to try to apply as much pressure as he could. So it's like he keeps mixing up if he's going to go after Luma or Rosa, which I guess is a, yeah, you know, that's like a double strategy. I think it's an effective strategy. I think the problem with uh, in the Sheik game was that he was almost exclusively going after Rosa. Mm. He would only kill Luma if he knew he couldn't follow up on Rosa and had nothing else to do. Yeah. Whereas with Mewtwo, he was uh, really mixing up and occasionally going for that Luma and trying to get the kill. So now we're going to see a game three back on FD. Uh, so Ray likes going on the stage with Rosa. Not generally considered to be one of Rosa's best stages, but uh, just a personal preference thing, I guess. He's already off to the bat, just camping Dill's landings. He's up smash. He's trying to go for a third one. Ooh, like, it great gets combo a right one there. At least. That was a back hit of Luma Nair. Uh, I got the Lunar Land Nair. He Nared right as he was hitting the ground, so Luma's hitbox comes out. Uh, Rosa just runs away and waits for the back hit to connect, then gets the up smash. True combo off of that. Rosa has some really cool setups off of those. Uh, you know, Lunar Land back air on shield is a guaranteed grab, for example. She's got all kinds of stuff. That was slick coming from Dill. Immediately lands right onto the ground and goes for the uh, Confusion swap. Just kind of like flip over Ray. Yeah, Confusion's a very good move uh, on your recovery because if you come back onto stage, it'll hit through shields, of course, because it's a command grab, and also just stalls him in midair and that's kind of this awkward movement that we see right there. That combined with Mewtwo's air dodge being so good gives him a lot of mix-ups to get back on stage. Uh, Ray just rolling around, which uh, can be somewhat effective with Rosa. Her roll, you know, since she disappears, it's a little hard to punish sometimes on reaction. But uh, Ray is taking control right here. Both at kill percent, though. Throws him with the dash attack. He's sitting at 90%. Tries to go for an up smash. Uncharacteristic oh, of Dill to go so greedy for a kill. And Ray's gonna get the punish and get the kill that he wants instead for being the more patient player. Yeah, and that would that was you know all or nothing right there. That would have been the stock, uh, one way or the other. Uh, Dill takes the chance; it doesn't quite pay off for him, but he's got Lu he's got Rosa at a hundred over hundred percent without Luma. 
Tries to go for the down air, expecting the LB to come out sooner, but now Ray's flipping the tables on him, throwing him off stage with that throw. Yeah, gets the back throw forward air conversion, and now gets the falling forward air, but uh, that's not really a true combo most of the time, so. Yo, he just comboed out with Huma. Well, that was a big mistake right he there, actually. He shouldn't have gone for it because now he's off stage because he took too much time He basically Luma. took about 30% for up smashing that Luma. That uh, didn't even kill Luma. And he didn't even kill Luma. He is so hungry to get this kill off stage, but Ray's just pushing air dodge at just he the right moments. He gets back on the stage anyways. Ray tries to go for the That's grab, it. but actually that was a missed time coming from Ray because he had the right read. He went for the grab, but he just... Hit the grab button a little bit too early, and so Dill got the punish and killed him off. Yeah, wasn't quite in range. Rose's grab range is good, but not anything special. Certainly out of range right there. Uh, and so the kill throw, uh, Muse's up throw is strongest up throw in the game. I believe second best kill throw after Ness back throw. Obviously way behind Ness back throw. But uh, certainly one of the best kill throws in this game. Oh, he has a grab. Can you push him back off stage? We see him constantly going for the air dodges. Trying to get back on the stage. Managed to land down with the down air, Ooh. but then once again, Luminaire. Ray pushes him off. The stage control that Ray is controlling against Dill is immense. Dill needs a miracle. Yeah, he certainly could make a comeback here. Rage Mewtwo as he's trying to get rid of Luma here, but doesn't quite convert. Uh, he's got a lot of rage, and Rose is such a light character. This is not over yet, but Ray certainly looking pretty good. Does get the kill on Luma there. So again, we might see Ray just try to run away, wait for Luma to come back. Uh, now we're starting to get towards kill percent. That was a nice bait coming from Dill, jumping out of the up smash range, going for the shadow Ooh. ball. That's the instant with the point and blank that's gonna forward take it. smash, wow. Dill. Big mistake right there. I thought for sure. He just, he just up smashed twice in a row. I thought that was Ray's game. Yeah, I thought Ray, that was Ray's game. Ray like, had that in the bag. That was, that was a big mistake at the end right there. That wow. first up smash didn't get punished. And he just ran in and read a roll, I guess, or something. But he just ran in and up smashed again. Not working out right there. And Dill, he was ready. Putting